Wait until you hear what the mayor of New York City, which is a sanctuary city, by the way, is doing to the bus companies transporting migrants to New York City. New York City has and will continue to do our part to manage this humanitarian crisis. But we cannot bear the course of reckless political ploys from the state of Texas alone. Today, our administration filed a lawsuit against 17 companies that have taken part in Texas Governor Greg Abbott's scheme to transport tens of thousands of migrants to New York City in an attempt to overwhelm our social services system. These companies have violated state law by not paying the cost of caring for these migrants. And that's why we are suing to recoup approximately $700 million already spent to care for migrants bust here in the last two years by the state of Texas. Governor Abbott's continuing use of migrants as political pawns is not only chaotic and inhumane, but makes clear he puts politics over people. Today's lawsuit should serve as a warning to all those who break the law in this way. Now keep in mind, Eric Adams promised when he was running for mayor throughout his entire campaign that New York would remain a sanctuary city. Until, of course, it came time to do the sanctuary part. And now New York is suing the bus companies for transporting them there. What do they expect? All these millions of people to just stay in Texas? He's complaining about Governor Abbott shipping tens of thousands of migrants to New York City when sometimes there are over 10,000 people crossing the southern border in a single day under the Biden administration's watch. Plus, many of these people are choosing where they want to go once they cross the border. And who wouldn't want to stay in the Roosevelt Hotel for free? Let me know what you think about the mayor of New York City suing the bus companies or doing what they were hired to do in the comments. I'll see you soon.